What's going on there folks, Earthmaster here checking in with a pretty good sized earthquake coming into the live seismograph stations here. Uh, picking it up on quite a few stations, uh, more specifically right around the uh, Japan region, but this earthquake did not strike uh, right around Japan, but definitely picking it up on the uh, data stations here. Going to bring down the date from these uh, uh, quakes here a little bit. Been a pretty active day, had a 6.2 out there. Uh, well south of Japan on the Pacific Ring of Fire earlier. Now we, the latest earthquake showing up on the Earthquake 3D globe as a 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake right here in that blue uh, flag box right there. Pretty strong, significant quake. Uh, exact coordinates are looking at right around. Well, let's go ahead and zoom in here real quick and see if I can get an exact coordinate for you guys out there. Uh, right around Bat Batang, Indonesia. Uh, or at least 93 kilometers north of that region there striking at about 528 kilometers this is a major uh, earthquake but also very very deep down there uh, so some major movement uh, taking place there today and uh, of course this earthquake striking uh, right after that 6.2 or just a couple hours afterwards Let's see if I can bring in a little bit different map here so I can uh, show you guys the uh, ordeal here. We'll go ahead and cover this 6.2 that's taking place out there in the Pacific as well. One second here, stand by. There, by the way, there's not going to be any tsunami uh, with this uh, earthquake there in the uh, Indonesia Islands area. You can see that 6.6 .6 showing up there on the Japan station. Uh, pretty good size signature. Eventually, with that earthquake being that deep, it will show up on these other distant stations as well. Just a pretty good size earthquake. And uh, definitely uh, very, very deep out there. One second here, folks. There we go. Bring this map up here. You guys can see a little bit better. Pretty active day over here along the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Uh, but like I said, focusing in on this 6.6 .6 here. There's the uh, coordinates there out there in the Java Sea region. That's going to be that red circle right there, an area where historical seismic activity is uh, definitely high. Uh, but when we see these deep earthquakes out there, uh, no matter where they're at, it's something to be on guard. Keep an eye on, uh, as, as I believe firmly that any type of deep movement out here uh, is, is a, a good warning to take heed uh, for possibly something bigger, um, whether it be in the region or uh, somewhere else. I mean, just some major movement down below is uh, something to pay attention to. That 6.2 that struck a little bit earlier out here uh, looks like southwest of Guam, or at least yeah, somewhere around southwest of Guam. A couple aftershocks there, uh, and looks like there was some earthquake activity prior to that as well. Uh, that earthquake striking at about 12.4 kilometers below surface. No tsunami there with that earthquake either. Uh, just good to be on guard, folks. A little bit of earthquake activity out there around the Ridgemark region. Not Ridgecrest, Ridgemark. Right along the San Andreas Fault System there in Northern California. Or it's Central. I'm from Northern California. These guys are Central or Southern California. They're definitely not North. Uh, 3.0 striking at about 7 kilometers right off the San Andreas Fault System. So, anyway, folks, have a good day. We're going to jump on uh, live stream here if you want to chit chat. And uh, we'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Peace.